a canvas knapsack full of heavy objects. Some of them look pretty dangerous. Describe them for me, please. A canvas knap. Are we, uh, are we talking about guns? The back of the truck was full of sealed boxes and crates. That's it? A narrow path wound down a rocky slope. A narrow path wound down a rocky... Well, before I actually do anything, let's... Uh... A truck door sported a Wolfram logo. Let's we check this right place. Let's check uh, this uh, area out. A truck door sported a Wolfram logo. Open the door. The driver's door was locked. The driver's door was locked. I wasn't sure that would open the door. Maybe there's gonna be something inside it that can help us with that? No? Go, Trevor, go! I wasn't sure that would open. No? Okay. Uh. Let's give it some food. Maybe that's gonna help. I like figs. They taste good. Gotta be honest. It devoured the fruit greedily. Is that gonna help us? The feeling of animosity. Hmm. I had an idea. I wonder just how much that goat liked figs. Hey, goat. Want a fig? It's not... It's not even... <laughs> it's... <laughs> what would that do? That didn't do anything. Is uh, am I gonna have to uh, to lure the the guys here and then uh, make uh, <laughs> the goat go there, and uh, he's gonna wreak havoc or something? I am going to have to open the uh, the door though somehow. Uh, probably since they are waiting for a car, maybe I'm gonna have to, you know, uh, push the horn. To make them get in here? I don't... How can I do that, I wonder? Hmm. Let me, uh, talk to Nico a little bit. I'm gonna try and actually go there after that. See if uh, we can actually do that. So, what are we gonna do about these guys? Perhaps you could create some kind of distraction. Notice anything about the guards? Only that they look nervous. Notice anything? Only... Alright, let's go I there. I didn't want to go down there until the guards were out of the way. Am I gonna have to throw things at them? That would be pointless. Throw a fig there? I casually tossed a fig to the bottom of the path. Don't tell me that the goat's gonna follow it. Or maybe that's how we're gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna put a fig here. See if uh, that's gonna work.
<laughs> Alright, go down. That's not gonna make it go down for some reason. Mm. Never in a month of Sundays. Hmm. Is that gonna work? That's probably gonna make it uh, go down there. Or make the goat actually just notice the, the fig uh, down the path. Oh! I guess that worked. Am I going to have to... to throw uh, another one near them? It's returning back. Well, I guess, yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to lead, uh, to lead the, uh, the goat there. I thought that that's gonna be enough. <laughs> Alright, come back quick. Can I not move? I have to wait for the goddamn goat to get back. Mm, I guess. All right, let's uh, try and uh, throw a fig uh, near the guards. Bitch! With my best throw, I tossed one of the ripe figs. It landed close to the group. None of them spotted it. All right. I wonder if I actually have to. If I wander down. If I have to throw another one here. That wasn't. Okay, so this should be enough. One here, one here at the very entrance, and one at their entrance uh, at the top there. Now I'm all of this walking. <laughs> Walk fast, George. I casually George. tossed a fig to the bottom of the path. All right, casual tosser. If that's not going to be it, then, hmm. It's going to be a little bit interesting. Find a way to solve this. <laughs> Alright, goat. Give me a good show. Beat the shit out of him. Come on, let's see it happening. Let's see it happening. All right. It's working. Oh, hello, little fella. Should we shoot him? <laughs> nah, leave him alone. That's it? That's it? Don't tell me I'm gonna arm a bomb <laughs> on the goddamn goat. Maybe that's gonna be a, some sort of a distraction. Maybe I should throw more figs. It was an old nar. The feeling of anim. I'm gonna. Am I gonna arm you with bombs? I didn't think the goat would appreciate that. Yeah, I thought so. So, uh. Hmm. Did 
Despite the yarn being a processed byproduct of a fellow bovid, the goat had no qualms about eating it. Uh, I made him eat the goddamn <laughs> yarn? I don't want that. The flowers too? I didn't think the goat would appreciate that. I think he would. I think he would definitely would. Cookie? He ate the cookie. The goat sniffed the cookie, took a nibble, then spat it out. <laughs> I didn't blame it. <laughs> Trevor could teach that goat a thing or two about good manners, but I couldn't risk him being eaten. Squirt! The goat smelled bad enough already. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> hmm. All right, viewers. So I reloaded back. So um, I just didn't want to didn't want to lose the yarn. Don't think I'm, we're gonna need it, but since we, uh, you know, we gave it away, but we might uh, like solving this puzzle might actually require us to uh, to uh, make the uh, with my best go to eat I the yarn. One of the ripe figs. It landed. Maybe I should uh, lead it inside. If I wander down there, the guards would. That wouldn't work. Another one? If I threw another one, Langham's goons. If I wander down. Want a fake? Hey, Sears. Would you like a fig? No, thanks. I don't do fruit. Apart from wine, of course. <laughs> Alright. Interesting. That was never gonna work. Hmm. I casually t Uh, what can I do else here? Nope, I need... I wasn't sure that... Oh, I forgot to, to pick up, uh, the satchel. The back of the truck was... A knapsack had been or in the knapsack after uh, I reload. I grabbed the knapsack. Uh, what am I trying? If I go, uh, maybe I should give it to to Shears. Hey, Sears. Hello, my darlings. What's all this stuff? Uh, explosives mostly. Ah. Oh. Right, little treasure trove. I actually needed to show this to Shears, so I. Sh I can identify these as actual explosives? What the hell, game? What kind of design is that? Anywho, let's just continue on. Kind of stupid, if you ask me. Uh, A cardboard roll containing some kind of wire. A cardboard roll. What's that? Use wire. Cut a length off, stick it in something that goes bang, light it, and do a runner. Sounds simple enough. It is, until you make a mistake. <laughs> I guess we're gonna grab that. A roll of wire used for detonating explosives. 
Uh, we don't have something... Uh, we don't have anything to light it up, though. A roll of... Can be problematic. TNT, of course. It was either a giant slab of bubblegum or a block of explosive. The writing on the side was the giveaway. Danger. Maybe there are dangerous uh, bubblegums. I don't know. It was either a giant slab of bubblegum. What kind of dangerous bubblegum? Well, the writing on the maybe it's not sugar free. I'm guessing this isn't a giant stick of gum. Dead right, Georgie boy. It's TNT. Don't worry about it, though. It's perfectly safe. Until you light it up. As long as you don't pull that timer cord. And if you do, give us a shout first. <laughs> timer cord. So it's timed. Dynamite? Is that is that a dynamite? Is that not a like snake skin or something? What on earth is that, Shears? It looks dangerous. Careful, it could be anything. Jelly ignite, plastic, or <laughs> it could be someone's lunch. Yeah, I think what you got there is a sausage. Local delicacy, I expect. That's a piece of sausage? Despite Shears telling me otherwise, I wasn't convinced that this sausage was edible. It did smell of garlic, but looked more like a stick of dynamite. We can fool them. Uh, I guess we can fool them. But th this might be actual an actual dynamite. Despite Shears telling me otherwise, hmm. it did smell of garlic. Long tubes wrapped in paper. It certainly looked like dynamite. Long tubes. Is that what I think it is? Careful! Dynamite is fickle, unpredictable, and dangerous. Just like her indoors. Just like her indoors? No gymnastics while you got that stuff in your pocket. Dynamite. If Shear said it was dangerous, it had to be really dangerous. Dynamite. All right. And we have tape. It was a roll of duct tape. If you can't repair something with duct tape, you're not using enough duct tape. Is that true? Ah, we have a lighter. Okay. Our problems are solved. Duct tape. Miracle. Was there anything it couldn't be used for? If I'd had a roll of duct tape back in Paris, I wouldn't have had to fill my pockets with garbage. Is that true, though? Duct tape. If I'd had... The classic badass lighter. I took it. I needed all the help I could get. Well, I guess that's about it for this bag. An old lighter with a witty monogram etched onto it. An old lighter with a witty monogram etched onto it. I remember I actually started uh, getting to habit of collecting, uh, like, fancy lighters. I dropped that habit, uh, or the uh, dropped that hobby really early on. <laughs> Some of these uh, lighters are really expensive. It's not worth it. Uh... Do we have a reason to actually check it out again? So, what can we do with these, I wonder? A block of TNT, according to Shears, with an attached ripcord and timer. Something tells me that we can actually fool them. And make them run away. If I taped uh, the sausage and the fuse uh, and then taped it uh, onto the uh, onto the goat and let it, uh, lit it up and we're gonna need I the dynamite the for sausage. later Shears knew it was a sausage but one tiny length of fuse wire and voila Dynamite. Primed sausage. <laughs> it was a smelly sausage with a length of fuse wire sticking out of it. Passable for dynamite. 
As long as nobody gave it a sniff. Never in a month of Sundays. I needed to figure out what to do with it before I lit it. I didn't think I'd be able to toss the sausage that far. Hmm. Yeah, something tells me that I'm going to have to attach it to... Uh, to this idiot. Don't eat it! Don't you dare eat it! Nico, a hand please? You seem to have a bond with these creatures. I hope you're not thinking of harming Donna. Don't give it a name. Trust me, a cunning six-phase plan is for me. Wholly approved by all the major animal rights organizations. I don't think that's... Uh, nobody's gonna approve that. Just keep her still for a second. Why have you attached the sausage to Donna? That's phase one. Now, watch as the others come together. If it's all the same to you, I'll watch from over there. I had a fake piece of dynamite strapped to the goat. Phase one of my plan, complete. Now, I just had to figure out phases two to six. I don't think there's got to be a six phases for that. Uh, Let's slide it up. That should do the trick. And then... I had an idea. I wonder just how much that goat liked figs. Hey, goat. Want a fig? Go fig yourself! Yeah, for yours. I'm sorry. I had to, I had to say it. <laughs> Probably gonna think it's, uh, you know, suicide goat. And they're gonna flee away. I have it, and let slip the goats of war. Goats of war? Oh, hello, goaty. <laughs> That's no goaty. Oh. Uh, fellas, what's he got round his neck? Looks like... Oh, my God. <laughs> Scarper! Scarper! Oh, well, that did the trick. <laughs> a few minutes later. Langham's guards must have been spooked. There was no sign of them. All right. So, in there then? Yeah, the only thing that we can do now is just uh, get in, right? It looks dark. I have a lighter. I ain't going in there. Why not? Tight spaces give me the heebie-jeebies. Oh. Why don't I stay here and make sure the three wise monkeys don't come back? You have a gun? Could have actually done something to them. Instead of us using uh, the goat. Well, actually, the goat was definitely... <laughs> it was definitely better. What is it about the English that makes them so pink, puffy, and sweaty in sunlight? They can't, uh, they're not used to it. They're not used to the light. What is it? Hey, Sears. Nice work getting rid of those goons. Just goes to show that scaring the crap out of someone is as effective as beating them senseless. I wonder if that's true. Hey, Sears. Nice work. Nico looked excited. So, here we are. Eden. 
the end of a journey. Is this really? Which is ironic, because Eden is also the beginning of the journey. I know that Langham is in there somewhere. But you know, George, I'm excited. Yeah? Me too. So... Which is ironic. Well, you know... I know that Lang but you know... Uh, I gotta yeah. be you gotta be honest. Uh, I really think that this game definitely is a little bit longer than I expected. Even though it definitely shows that there are a lot of uh, cut content uh, in it. <laughs> That's for sure. I wonder if the developers actually said something about it. I still have the figs with me? Alright. So even if we get stuck in there... Uh, we're not gonna, not gonna die for uh, malnutrition until much later. Langham's men had used explosives to blast a hole in the rock face. It looked pretty dark. Langham's men it looked pretty. All right, let's get inside, viewers. Final hours of this uh, let's play. The cave play. was pitch black, too dark to see a thing. I mean, we do have the answer. Come on, bro. The answer is the stick of dynamite. Come here, Charles. What are you doing? What? Why is she angry? I was just trying to liven things up. With a pocket full of dynamite? Um, yeah? That doesn't have a fuse? I'll be having those explosive shells. But no, no but Josh. Oh, you're not even you're not even give, gonna give me a but. Well, she is gonna have the the dynamite. It's not. It's gonna be useless without the uh, fuse, though. All right, I guess time for us to get in. Through the gloom, I could just see stairs leading down. Come on, Nico. We need to find Langham. Ah, <laughs> uh, way uh, to end the series, huh? What a way to end the goddamn series. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, recovered, uh... After cra after the game crashed, and uh, oh, I, I already gave her everything, so yeah. Uh, I already gave her the explosives, so yeah. Time for us to actually explore the caverns. Through the gloom, I could just see stairs leading down. Come on, Nico. We need to find Langham. Whoa. Oh, no wonder the game crashed. Wow. Oh, these water are murky. Are these water or is that like fog? It's probably most likely fog. This place is extraordinary. You think this is really Eden? This game is beautiful, by the way, viewers. I think uh, this is something that I haven't mentioned a lot, but this game actually looks really good. Uh, at first, I thought there was some sort of a distinction between the uh, character design and the background, but I think they actually do fit uh, right. Especially, I think they do take care, good care of the uh, lighting effect uh, of how of, of uh, the lighting of uh, uh, that that gets shed on the characters, and uh, they do pretty well. Um, I think. Well, have you seen the apples? <laughs> Think twice before you eat them. Look! Lucifer! Jehovah! And Langan. He's got Eva. Oh, good thing that someone mentioned Eva. Whatever he's up to. I hope we're in time. Look! The altar! The glowing thing? The glowing thing? You mean this or the one in the middle? 
Probably the one in the middle. It's the shape of the tabula. We have to get across there quick. How can you see it? I can barely see how it's shaped. Uh-oh. Lighter's out? Lighter's out. Okay, let's go ahead and, uh... Uh... Explore the surrounding area. This is a collapsed bridge. Do you do that? This thing here is telling me to stop. A steep tunnel led up to the surface. A steep tunnel led up to the... I don't think we have the option to go back. The place gave me the creeps. But we couldn't leave until we defeated Langham. Defeated Langham? The place gave me... But we... As ever, Nico and I were knee-deep in an ancient conspiracy. As ever, Nico... A dead bush? Eh, I wouldn't call this a bush. It was a dried up, dead looking bush. Let's call this a, a tree. You know, just because it's uh, a coming out from a wall, it doesn't that. That doesn't make it uh, less than a tree. But some trees do, do actually grow on walls. Uh, somehow. <laughs> it was a dried up, dead. Somehow. Uh, I don't want to go here. Although... Something like that could definitely give me a better viewing. It was a... Vines? There's a ladder. Which I don't think we'll be able to use. Kind of cancel uh, my action for some reason. Don't jump. The ancient bridge had collapsed many years ago. Many years ago? Langham had used a ladder to cross, but that ladder was now on the other side. Mm. Go, Trevor, go! I bring the, uh, the, uh, the ladder down. The ancient bridge had collapsed many years ago. Langham had used a ladder to... The lightweight aluminum ladder was caught up in the tangle of vines. It looked like Langham had used this to cross the gap. Is there a way for me to cut uh, these vines? The lightweight aluminum... I should talk to Nico. What do you suppose Langham's up to? Whatever it is, we need to stop him before it's too late. How are we going to stop him? We need to help Eva first. Then we do whatever it takes. Something tells me Eva is going to die. Miserable death. I don't want to... That, that what, that's what happened to the... You know... To the side hoe in the previous game. <laughs> well, according... Uh, you know, no spoilers, but according to the, uh, to the ending... Um, only... Uh, there was uh, there was only a uh, one girl that got out. Okay, you ready for this? Of course. Okay, you ready for this? Of course. Are you? Hmm. Ancient tree. There was an ancient tree behind Lucifer. Is that gonna be the tree of knowledge? The tree of knowledge. The tree of knowledge. No question mark. A huge statue of Lucifer framed one side of the altar. A huge statue of... A tangled mass of dry old vines hung from the ceiling. The ladder got caught up in him. A tangled mass of... The ladder got... You guys cannot just drop down? I can even I cannot even inspect uh, Langham. Large crack. A large crack ran from the side of the altar. A sublime light radiated from the crack. 
Ah. A large cr So we're gonna have a should have a way. To actually cut these vines. I needed a better idea. I thought I'm gonna have to try and cut these. Dry bush. Maybe you can burn burn it? The lighter had run out of fuel, but the flint could still make sparks. Charles, what are you doing? I kinda have a plan. Kinda. Well, I hope it works. Huh. It was a burning bush. How very biblical. It was a burning bush. Don't know how uh, that's uh, biblical, but um, okay. Uh, I don't think I can do much with that. The fuse wire wasn't strong enough to pull down the vines. The ladder, maybe? A lasso would have tangled on the vines rather than the ladder. Nope. I needed to try something else. Well, that didn't work. That wouldn't make any sense. Well, I thought that you would try and lasso it with a, with a tape, you know. You make, uh, you know, use the tape as a, like a makeshift uh, cable or so, of some sort. You can actually do that. All right, so I lit this up, but I don't know what I can do. It was a burning bush. I don't know what I can do with it. Maybe I can do something with a light. That work. No. I love the smell of Brett in the morning. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought that we would uh, probably like uh, we'll be able to make more fire with that, but I didn't expect. Uh, I definitely did not expect uh, that result to be like that as well. It's definitely not realistic, but I'll go with it. The ladder had fallen to bridge the gap. How very, very convenient. The ladder had fallen to bridge the gap. You're coming, Nico. Well, how convenient as well here. Whoa! You! Uh, d don't point at me. Don't you ever give up. But you're too late. No one can stop me now. Do something, George. He's crazy. No, not crazy, as you will soon see. Eden? Tabula Veritatis? You'll destroy us all! Ha! The ancients who built these statues feared their powers. Soon, I shall control them. What are you going to do with the tabula? It is the key. The key that will awaken the two gods. So you're going to awaken the two gods and you're going to kill one of them? Upon my command, Lucifer shall smite Jehovah with his power. Annihilate him. can't destroy Jehovah. You'll shatter the balance. 
You'll plunge the world into chaos. No. Ruled by Lucifer, man will be liberated to realize his greatest ambitions. Hail Satan, I guess? To realize his full potential. But this isn't the place to discuss these things. <laughs> Where do you suggest? How about eternity? Wah! Whoa! George. Where did he throw me? Is George dead? Oh, he's flying? Okay, homo! Hey, but no homo. Holy... Uh, we're gonna be control of Nico. We have the dynamite. The bush was child from Georges pyrotechnics. Pyrotechnics. Uh, what can we do, I wonder? The bush was child. An ancient bridge had long since collapsed. Luckily, a ladder spans the gap. An ancient bridge had luckily. It was the ladder George had knocked down. It was the ladder George had knocked down. All right, let's cross it. But uh, I don't know what we can do after that. Nico, you must stop him. Eva, what do we do? She must know. I don't know. But your father said you had the answer. He used to talk about pure light. Your life? What does that mean? I don't know. That's what he said. Pure light, white light, will conquer. Uh, that looks white to me. George! Did he not throw, uh... Did he not throw the, uh, the medallion at me or something? A massive statue of Lucifer towered over the altar. Blue light shot from the orb in his hand. A massive statue of Lucifer. Blue light. Miko! <coughs> Pure! Light! Get me light! Alright, chill out. <laughs> Chill out. A large crack ran across one side of the altar. I'm trying checking things out here. Eva was tied up. Kinky. Eva was tied up. Nico! Hurry! Please, light! Pure white light! Uh, we know the answer. Come on. A massive statue of Jehovah I'm just uh, trying to check the, the, the area out. Green light shot from the orb in his hand. A massive st green light sh The tree that had previously looked dead was now glowing with energy. How do you know that it was dead? The tree that had pre It looks normal to me. Before Langholm had started doing his thing, the tree had appeared lifeless. Now, it was pulsating with energy. Pulsating and not glowing? Before Langholm had... Now... What up, Eva? Nico, thank God you're here. We must stop Langholm before it's too late. What's going on? He's inserted the tablet. The powers are rising. <laughs> Chill, uh... Chill, uh, George. How do we stop Langon? I don't know. My 
father used to talk about pure light, white light, revenge. <laughs> Get down, George. Get down. How do we stop him? Pure light. That's what my father said. How do we pure light? That's Lango. <laughs> Whatever Langham was up to, I didn't have much time to figure out how to stop him. Whatever Langham... Can I talk to him? Langham! Stop this! Langham! Langham! I don't think he can hear us. It was no use. He hardly noticed me. <coughs> Shush! <laughs> Get down there. For now. Langham! It was not you. Snake, snake, snake. So uh, we kind of know what we need to do, by the way, viewers. Well, it was. Uh, we cannot combine them. Well, the idea here is just try and destroy this crack to uh to release the white light. And that's it, pretty much. <gasps> Cutscene. What gives you the right? Will. That's what we bring. Humanity brings free will. The final piece of the Trinity. Ah! Oh shit. So we didn't even need the bridge. Run! Ah. All right, guys. While you've been larking about, I've been thinking about supper. How does a nice barbecue tickle your fancy? Damn, shush come up. Is that a goat? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the goat? I think you'd better have this, don't you? My father gave his life to find it. Now I must spend mine protecting it. How? Where will you go? To Catalonia. I have a house and a chapel to restore. And a new life to build as a Gnostic leader. Oh shit. Just break the, the damn thing. You know, Nico? This time, I really wasn't sure if we were going to make it. Perhaps we had the gods on our side. Or whatever those powers were. Maybe you're right. You know, we make a great team. Um, we could be more than a team. Oh. Before this all started, back in Paris, I was just about to invite you out to... Oi! Dinner is served. Fantastic. Uh, what's on the menu? Donna kebabs with a spicy fig compote. Wait. Donna as in... Donna? But Nico, I thought you loved goat. The end. <laughs> Well, it was the goat after all. And there it is, viewers. There it is. Broken Sword 5, The Serpent Curse. To its conclusion. 
yeah, I would definitely say that this is definitely uh, better than the previous two games. It's definitely better than... Uh, uh, what was the, the name of it? Dragons? Something Dragon? Dragon Sword? Uh, I, don't, I don't remember. The third game, and of course the... Uh, the fourth game. Fourth game is def was definitely bad. The third game was arguably. You can argue that it, that it it was uh, it was a solid game all around, even with its uh, uh, even with its shortcomings. But the fourth one, there is no defense for the fourth one, sadly. And it definitely feels good. <laughs> Coming back to this after playing the fourth one, or even trying it, to actually, like, see, um, like, uh, how a Broken Sword uh, game should be. At least, it, it definitely managed to meet some of the things that you would expect from a, a Broken Sword game. You have George and Nico, but, like, the... Uh, Cheerful, uh, colorful characters. I like the dialogue a lot. I, like, I really like George a lot as a character. He's a really well-written one. Always, uh, always fun. Always uh, witty. Always like. I have a lot of fun trying to exp explore the dialogue just to hear what he has to say. Uh, one of the strongest things about the game, uh, without a doubt. Oh, Jasmine! <laughs> what a what a good conclusion. So yeah, it's there's really nothing to say about this game other than the fact that uh, this is something that I actually mentioned, to you. especially with the uh, like. It definitely, the game shows that it it definitely has some good content, especially with the shears like appearing that he had some sort of a head injury, and not to mention go us knowing how. He was, in the end, the one that actually killed uh, uh, Henri. We really didn't uh, actually get to the section we, where we actually, you know, uh, knew, f knew for sure that he was the one that killed Henri. We don't we haven't seen uh, his uh, uh, if he had a tattoo or not. We uh, we didn't even find his uh, alibi or not, whatnot. Rolf Saxon, huh? Rolf Saxon is his name. The voice over for uh, for George. Uh, definitely a, a, a good actor. Sergei Charles Cecil. <laughs> he voiced him. God damn. And he voiced the goat. <laughs> he voiced the goat as well. <laughs> the voice actor for George. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's amazing. <laughs> he voiced his uh, uh, arch nemesis. That's pretty great. Uh, anywho, one like it definitely is apparent that uh, the game definitely has a problem, like a budget problem. There, are, there are definitely cut content in the, this game. Not to mention that. It definitely seems, especially uh, at the later stage of the game, definitely shows that uh, there are a lot of, uh, uh, especially with the with the section where we're supposed to escape from the chapel after uh, knocking down the soldier. There was supposed to be a, a, a section where we're gonna have to reach to the uh, to the cart and jump uh, to it, but they didn't have a budget to animate all of that, I guess. So. <laughs> Uh, which is a shame, I guess. Which is uh, a shame for, for a Kickstarter uh, project like that, like not even meeting these expectations. Uh, the game, be the game existing is definitely enough, I believe. And you can actually see the potential that this game could have been much better than it is. I mean, it's not like saying that the game is bad. It's the game, I think, the game is great. Actually, the game is really good. The game is really fun. Uh, I would say that it definitely did overstay its welcome, especially at the very beginning. Well, it's uh, more like it was a little bit redundant for, uh, for us going back and forth in Paris. Like, we could have uh, definitely found out a lot of uh, uh, some of these stuff uh, really early on. Uh, but we've uh, been going back and forth a lot in Paris. 
uh, going to the same places even, uh, without uh, getting anything uh, getting anything interesting. We could have uh, we could have uh, we could have gotten a lot of these stuff like uh, the uh, uh, the receipts uh, that Tomadovsky is the owner of the of the Namaladic Sea. We, we, we had to go to uh, to Andre's office like three times to actually find that out. And we really didn't need to do that. We could have actually done this in two uh, visits at uh, pretty much. We went back and forth to, to uh, Bijou's house uh, a lot, of course, and uh, not uh, not to mention uh, 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 yeah, the uh, pretty much, yeah, pretty much. Bijou's, uh, the Bijou and the gallery we went back, uh, back and forth a lot for absolutely no reason. I would definitely say even, even Vera security. I don't think we actually needed to go uh, more than once there, especially like even to try and find out that uh, the place was actually closed. Maybe it was an optional. I maybe I actually did it as an optional. Uh, thing, but regardless, I think uh, the section in Paris was definitely overstated its welcome. We could have actually moved on much faster, much faster than that. Uh, well, other than that, I think that my biggest gripe with the game is definitely with the puzzle of trying to uh, decode the uh, Tabula Veritatis. The fact, and I definitely did mention that, the the fact that the way that we could have uh, the the way that we uh, the way that we actually managed to find uh, the area was uh, supposed to be a desert that was definitely like absolutely stupid, especially with the way that I definitely did explain it uh, did explain uh, how it really doesn't make sense, especially. Uh, showing that there's no indication for us to actually tell that oh there's a desert area and this is how it uh, this is how it means like there's absolutely no logical sense there other than j just doing uh, uh, kind of meaningless uh, process of elimination for it especially uh, same thing with the uh, uh, with the source uh, you know with the source of the uh, of the rivers as well. You can argue that the source of the river can be a little bit clear, especially like there is something that indicates the start of a river, meaning it, meaning the source of the river. But uh, uh, it could have been a one word, right? But we didn't get it as a one word. We got it just as a source, as a single word for a source, which definitely made it a little bit confusing. The south and east and the direction I can see that the process of elimination can work there because you know we're talking about direction and uh, there's a lot uh, there's some sort of a logic uh, behind that and yeah I'm, I'm still having like I let the um, the uh, the puzzle uh, and the solution to the, to the puzzle marinate a little bit like I took like um, I don't know how much days or weeks have been since I solved that puzzle, but definitely, to, to, uh, like I took it my time for it. it you know, my, my like my criticism is not salt, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. I'm not salty about uh, not trying to find the the solution. Like I actually do think that th that puzzle could have been really, really good. Could have been one of the best puzzles in the uh, in the series. But, uh, and you know, making puzzles like that, um, I gotta be honest, it can be hard. It's, it can be really uh, hard to making, uh, uh, making uh, like, uh, uh, like challenging yet entertaining puzzles. Uh, I understand that, but the fact that the game lied to us, telling us that you actually have everything that you need, even though I really didn't even... Uh, get the part where I uh, uh, I managed to uh, to make the uh, the uh, the map the, uh, the the words on the map disappear so it so it can actually look clear. That was that was kind of iffy. I gotta be honest with you. Like the game definitely assures you that uh, yeah you actually have everything you need. So 
if you're not finding it, if you if you couldn't find uh, if you couldn't solve this puzzle, then it's on you. But no, it wasn't on you. It's, uh, like you're lacking some important stuff. Not to mention that the game uh, really did like the way that you, uh, that you try to find, uh, especially the desert region, uh, is definitely. Uh, Uh, the desert region, the way that you had tried the, the, uh, the translation for the desert region, is definitely uh, bullshit, without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, which is uh, uh, which is a shame. Well, I, and that's the only uh, really big gripe if I if I ever have a gripe with the game. Uh, this and the um, the cut content, because uh, the. the was uh, some problem with the pacing where they give the, where the pacing either paces way too fast or or way too slow. Actually, I'm not gonna say even way too fast. I would say definitely there, uh, in, like uh, the fact that they really didn't add uh, uh, the fact that uh, Nico and George jumped on the cart, like some uh, sort of an action scene. I definitely. Uh, could have uh, sh uh, thought that they should have uh, they should have uh, allocated the, uh, a budget to, to do that. Like they actually did render uh, like the dancing dancing scene with the Biju. They could have made it that they could have uh, made that into like a like a, an in-game animation thing. Should should have not gone. Uh, a fool with it, but uh, I don't know. Something went wrong, of course, with, with the development of the game, and definitely it seems, it definitely shows that the, this game definitely had a budget problem, which, uh, which is a, a sad thing. Yeah, but other than that, really, other than that, I think this game is, uh, I think this game is great. I think this game is great. Would, uh, where do I rank it compared to the other games? I still think. Uh, I still think that the first game is uh, the, is the best one in the series. Uh, the second game is also good, so I would probably say that this definitely this could be the third uh, best game in the series. It's uh, it's not as far as the as the first one, uh, in my opinion. It could be as good as the. Uh, as the uh, second one, although the second one is definitely, uh, I would think uh, I would think that uh, the second game is uh, a much better and a much complete game, especially with uh, like definitely uh, definitely offered a lot of uh, uh, it had definitely good pacing, like regardless of uh, uh, of how I think about uh, the second game. The, ge the second game definitely had better uh, pacing. Than this one. This one, uh, France, the very start of the game, definitely. Um, it might actually. I would definitely. Uh, uh, I can see that uh, there's uh, gonna be some people that actually, you know, uh, drop the game. Uh, drop the game. Uh, in you know at the very beginning of the uh, of the game like around the France uh, the uh, the Paris uh, section of the game you, you just do a lot of uh, meaningless back and forth sadly uh, which is definitely dra drags the experience uh, uh, down but it definitely picks up picks up really really well after that after that after that point once you actually like reach London and then go back to France and then continue again. I think this is where the game actually started pacing really, really well. And th that's where I actually like, uh, like uh, I started actually having a, a lot more fun with the game, but much more fun uh, compared to the uh, to the first few hours uh, of the game. So yeah, I would definitely say that this is. Uh, the third best game in the series. So if I would rank uh, these games, uh, uh, Broken Sword One, of course, as number one. Broken Sword Two as number two. Broken Sword Five as number three. Broken Sword Three as number fourth. Uh, and uh, of course, Broken Sword uh, Four as uh, the game that you. <laughs> 
<laughs> she don't bother playing at all. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think people should uh, should skip number four. Number four, uh, it doesn't exist. It never existed. Uh, it's it's a terrible video game. I don't think uh, people should try that game out. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but, uh, but for the third game, uh, like I think uh, a lot of people say that the third game is terrible, but I disagree. I think the third game is still uh, is still a good one. It's still uh, something that he can actually enjoy. It's a little bit different, uh, definitely. If he came from the from the point and click era, then going to the uh, 3D con uh, controls where you actually have to move around and whatnot, uh, but. Uh, no, I think uh, I actually think uh, that uh, the uh, uh, the third game is definitely a uh, a competent game overall, uh, despite its flaws. And uh, yeah, so uh, have a nice day. Do you actually recommend this game? Uh, I would say yes. If you are, of course, if you are into the Broken Sword series, it, it's this is a uh, like a. This is a no-brainer. You you should jump into this game if you actually liked uh, any of the previous uh, Broken Sword games. If you liked a pro a, a Broken Sword game, this is definitely a must, without a shadow of a doubt. If you are new to the uh, to the uh, series altogether, hell, even if you're new, uh, if you're new into the point-and-click uh, genre altogether, I think this is a good start. This game is definitely a good start to the to the genre. It's definitely um, uh, I'm not gonna say it's streamlined because uh, I think the newer uh, point and collect games definitely allows you to see the points of interest in the map or in the screen. Uh, but I don't think this game needed it because everything was clear. You can actually distinguish what's the what are the things that you can actually interact with. Uh, or not. This is, uh, has never been a problem. Uh, I can see that some, even newer games, uh, that doesn't ha have this mechanic for actually showing you the points of interest of, uh, of, uh, the, the interactable, uh, points in the, on the screen. Sometimes I can actually play games on, uh, and see that they it's it's it can be hard actually spotting the things that you can interact with but with this game i actually never never uh, had a problem at all i don't remember actually having a trob a problem uh, once everything was uh, was uh, clear to me i probably missed a few things but uh, i would definitely uh, i would definitely blame myself rather than rather than the game because uh, usually the, like in a single screen you really don't have a lot of interactables that yeah, you have to check so if you actually missed uh, something you would uh, uh, you're, you're like you're not gonna uh, miss a lot because there 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 isn't a lot of interactables in a, uh, on the screen at one point, so it's not uh, it's not gonna be a big problem. So yeah, I would definitely say that this uh, game, uh, uh, even though it doesn't have the feature to uh, give you interactability, uh, to show you interactable points, uh, this game is definitely uh, streamlined for uh, people who are not. Uh, familiar with the genre or new to the genre so this is a good this game is definitely a good start really a uh, fun game really enjoyable game characters are uh, uh, fantastic I absolutely uh, love uh, uh, George absolutely love the performance of uh, the voice actor he's a legend I think he's definitely uh, one of the best uh, in the uh, uh, in the industry uh, uh, Nicole is also uh, good. Nico Collard, uh, voice uh, actors, uh, just because just uh, because she's back, like the the, uh, the iconic character, them being back is actually just good enough. But uh, yeah, props to uh, to uh, George Stobart's actor. He's a legend. Absolutely, uh, 
Uh, love that guy. Would love to see uh, more of George. Uh, more of him, first and foremost. And more uh, of George, hopefully, uh, with a new Broken Sword game uh, in the future. And I also hope, viewers, that you enjoyed this playthrough of Broken Sword 5, The Serpent Curse. This has been Have a Nice Day. Uh, just a reminder that I do have a Discord uh, of yours, for, uh, so for, uh, if you want to, you know, if you want to talk to me, want to interact with me at any time, feel free to, you know, to tell me in the, uh, in the comments that you want to join. If you're familiar, I'll probably give you a, an invite. If not, well, like, in, in my, because the server is kind of private at the moment, so I, I'm, I don't let anyone actually get into uh, the server. Fearing, uh, I don't have a public uh, Discord server. Fearing, uh, fearing bots, you know, uh, just uh, hopping into my... Uh, uh, Discord server and wrecking everything because uh, uh, bots are uh, there's a lot of bots around uh, with these uh, Discord servers so um, it's I think it's better for now to actually keep it private and uh, uh, and joining uh, you know the cool kids table based on you know private invites uh, one at a time but so yeah feel free to ask me for a, a for an invite to, to to, to my Discord server, and uh, hopefully you can find uh, more of me. Yeah, yeah, as I said, viewers, thank you very, very much for watching, and hopefully I'll be seeing you in the next Let's Play on this channel. This has been Have a Nice Day, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one, everyone. Peace.